Over the past 45 years, I've rescued a lot of dogs. And one of the things that I've noticed about those dogs is that uh, they all had some kind of unwanted behavior when I got them home. Today I want to talk to you about one of those kind of unwanted behaviors, and that's eating too fast. I call it starving dog syndrome. Uh, sometimes a dog will come from a home that, uh, where they didn't see much food, and when there was a few scraps around, they had to compete with other dogs and animals to just get a bite or two. So uh, it was no wonder that they developed the behavior of when food was available, they just would almost inhale it. Uh, they would cough and choke and food would be flying everywhere and they'd be eating the, off the floor while they were still choking. It really made me worry about some of those dogs if they were going to choke to death on their food, which I know they probably wouldn't, but still it wasn't something that I wanted to... I didn't want my dogs to be under that much stress and feel that kind of anxiety. So uh, back in the day when I was uh, coming up through and I had all these rescue dogs, I really didn't think about going to the store and buying the specialized food dishes or anything like that. I always uh, fixed unwanted behaviors through building my bond with the dog uh, so that the dog looked at me as somebody important, somebody who could to somebody that could help them with these problems. So what I always did was I for the first two weeks that I had the dog, they never ate out of the dish. They would come, I would get up in the morning and get them out of the crate. They would come to me and I would work some obedience with them and I would hand feed them their food. And that, that would make them have to slow down. You know, I'd call them to come, they'd come. If it was a nice day, I might go outside. And when they got there, I'd have them sit and I'd scatter a few pieces in the grass. And then I'd walk away. While they were cleaning up those pieces in the grass, they got a chance to work for their food, they burnt off some energy, and I would move to another spot in the yard and I'd put a few pieces around an old rock or something, I'd call them to come, they come over, sit down, good dog, and then they get to clean up the food. That way they learn that they don't have to hurry to eat their food because nobody's going to take it from them, but it also gave them a chance to work for their food, something that they really need to do instinctually. A dog wants to work for what it gets. And it also helped build that bond that I had with my dogs. They, they start to look at me like I'm important to them in their life to help them sort out these problems. So that's my suggestion to you if you have a dog that's eating too fast. Don't just put the bowl down or try to find some other way to slow down that process because when you, when you use those gadgets and those specialized bowls Yes, you're addressing the, the symptoms and the dog is forced to slow down, but you're not addressing that underlying problem. The problem that the dog has with his anxiety and his stress around the food bowl. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more about your dog, you can visit my website. Uh, the link is in the description below. And if you have any questions about this video, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to hear from you and I'll answer any questions that you have. So that's it for now. I just wanted to make this video and help you out with that problem if that's what you're going through right now. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon.